So what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something incredibly relevant in our super connected world. We're going to explore how you can transform your Android device into a capable ethical hacking machine. This isn't about the shadowy stuff you see in movies. This is about understanding the tools and techniques used to test and secure systems. It's about becoming a defender, not an attacker, using your tech for good. When we talk about hacking here, we're strictly talking ethical hacking, also known as penetration testing or white hat hacking. The focus is on learning how to protect systems, identify vulnerabilities and make the digital world safer. Think of it as learning how a lock works so you can build a better, more secure one. So if you're ready to see your Android device in a whole new light and learn some valuable cyber security skills, you're in the right place. Let's get into it. Let's unpack what ethical hacking means. Ethical hacking uses the same tools as malicious hackers, but with permission. You're authorized to test defenses and improve security. Ethical hackers are the good guys finding vulnerabilities before bad actors do. They're a critical line of defense in an evolving cyber threat landscape. Without them, we'd face a more insecure digital environment. It's about problem solving and contributing to a safer digital ecosystem. Why Android for security testing? Its open source nature offers flexibility. You have deeper system access. It's a supercomputer in your pocket, perfect for on-the-go testing, accessible and versatile. Start learning without extra hardware. All right, so we've established why Android can be a solid platform for ethical hacking. Now, let's talk about getting it geared up. The first step is understanding that you won't find a big red hack now button on the Play Store. Instead, we're looking at a collection of specialized apps and, most importantly, a powerful terminal environment that will serve as our main workstation. One of the cornerstone apps we'll be focusing on is Termux. Think of Termux as a mini Linux distribution that runs on your Android device without needing to root it. This is huge. It provides a command line interface, or CLI, and allows you to install a wide range of Linux packages and tools directly onto your phone. Beyond Termux, there are other specialized Android apps that can be incredibly useful. For example, there are Wi-Fi analyzers that can show you detailed information about nearby wireless networks, their signal strength, security protocols, and connected devices. There are also network scanners that can help you discover hosts on a network and identify open ports. Some apps even provide interfaces for common tasks like ping, tracer route, or DNS lookups, which are basic but essential for network troubleshooting and reconnaissance. Setting up your Android device for ethical hacking involves a few key considerations. Ensure your device has sufficient storage space, as some tools and their dependencies can take up a fair bit of room. Always download apps and tools from reputable sources. Chapter 4. Termux Unleashed, your command center on Android. So let's dive deep into Termux because this app is really the heart of turning your Android into an ethical hacking powerhouse. As I mentioned, Termux is an Android terminal emulator and Linux environment app that works directly without routing or any special setup. This is a massive advantage. It essentially gives you a command line interface, much like you'd find on a Linux desktop right on your phone. First things first, getting Termux. It's crucial to download it from the right place. The version on the Google Play Store is outdated and no longer receives updates due to some policy changes. So your best bet is to grab the latest version from F-Droid, which is an alternative app store for free and open source software, or directly from the Termux GitHub repository. Installing from F-Droid is pretty straightforward. Install the F-Droid client, then search for Termux and install it. Once Termux is installed and you open it for the first time, you'll be greeted by a black screen with a blinking cursor and a command prompt. The first thing you'll want to do is update and upgrade the built-in package manager, which is called, though it uses commands, familiar to Debian slash Ubuntu users. You do this by typing and hitting enter. After the update command finishes, you'll then run and hit enter. This initial setup ensures your foundation is solid before you start installing other tools. Chapter 5. Stocking your arsenal, Nmap and Wireshark Essentials. Alright, with Termux set up and ready to go, it's time to start equipping our Android ethical hacking machine with some industry standard tools. 
Two of the most fundamental and widely used tools in any security professional's toolkit are Nmap for network scanning and Wireshark for network traffic analysis. These are the bread and butter for understanding what's happening on a network, and thankfully, we can get them running on Android, primarily through Termux. Let's start with Nmap, which stands for Network Mapper. This is an incredibly powerful open source utility for network discovery and security auditing. Think of it as your digital reconnaissance scout. Installing Nmap in Termux is straightforward. You just open Termux and type and hit enter. Once it's installed, you can run Nmap directly from the command line. For example, a simple scan to find live hosts on your local network might look something like, assuming that's your network range. Now let's talk about Wireshark. While Nmap tells you what's on the network, Wireshark tells you what's being said on the network. Getting Wireshark fully functional on Android can be a bit more involved than Nmap, especially the graphical interface. Chapter 6. Seeing the unseen network scanning and sniffing in action. So we've got Nmap and Wireshark, or at least installed, in our Termux environment. Now let's talk a bit more about what network scanning and sniffing actually entail and how these tools are used in practice. Remember, all of this is for educational purposes and should only be done on networks you own or have explicit permission to test. Network scanning, primarily what we use Nmap for, is the process of discovering active hosts on a network and identifying the services they offer. Imagine you're a security consultant tasked with assessing a company's network. Your first step would be to understand the lay of the land. What devices are connected? Are there servers, workstations, printers, IoT devices? What ports are open on these devices and what applications are listening on those ports? Nmap helps answer all these questions systematically. Network sniffing, on the other hand, is the act of capturing and inspecting data packets that cross a network. This is where Wireshark all comes into play. By putting your Android device's network interface into promiscuous mode, you can see all the data flowing past. It's like tapping into the network's conversation. Chapter 7. The Ethical Compass, Hacking Responsibly. Now we've covered a lot of ground from setting up your Android device to using powerful tools like Nmap and Wireshark. But throughout this entire journey, there's one aspect that's more important than any tool or technique, and that's the ethical framework you operate within. Using these skills responsibly is not just a suggestion, it's an absolute requirement. The line between ethical hacking and illegal activity is crystal clear, and it's defined by permission. First and foremost, always ensure you have explicit written permission from the owner of any system or network before you conduct any form of testing. This is non-negotiable. Scanning your neighbor's Wi-Fi, probing a random website, or attempting to access systems you don't own is illegal and can have severe consequences, including hefty fines and even jail time. Ethical hacking is a professional discipline, and professionals always operate within legal and ethical boundaries. Ignorance is not an excuse. Part of responsible hacking is also understanding the concept of scope. When you're given permission to test a system, that permission will almost always come with a defined scope. This outlines what systems you are allowed to test, what types of tests you can perform, and what is off-limits. Sticking to this scope is crucial. Going outside the agreed-upon parameters, even with good intentions, can be seen as a breach of trust and could have legal repercussions. Always clarify the scope before you begin. So there you have it, a pretty comprehensive look at how you can transform your Android device into a legitimate ethical hacking tool. We've covered the core principles, why Android is a surprisingly good fit, the essential tools like Termux, Nmap and Wireshark, and most importantly, the ethical considerations that must guide every action you take. This journey is about empowering yourself with knowledge to understand and improve digital security, not to cause harm. The power is literally in your hands. Remember, the tools and techniques we discussed are powerful, and with that power comes a significant responsibility. Always, and I mean always, ensure you have explicit permission before you test any system that isn't your own. The focus is, and must always be, on protecting systems and data, contributing positively to the cybersecurity landscape. Think of yourself as a digital locksmith, learning how locks work so you can make them better and help keep everyone's digital valuables safe. Thanks so much for watching this one. Stay curious, keep learning, and always, always hack responsibly and ethically.